Hey, so just got home from Costco. Wanted to show you what we picked up. Um, this was a big order, but we also had to buy our membership. So we were, I think it was 370 out the door today. But I'll show you everything we grabbed. We did grab like a couple household essentials um, and a couple things for Justin. I won't show you the non-keto things. I'll just show you everything um, that I'll be kind of using. So yeah, we went to Costco tonight. It seemed really busy. Um, I don't know if maybe that's just we went to a different location than we normally do. So maybe it was a bit busier, but I'll show you everything we grabbed. So first thing we grabbed is baby bells. So you've got 28 in this big pack and they're zero net carbs, 45 calories per cheese. Love having these just for quick, easy snacks or to throw in my lunch. Or I mean, if I'm making dinner, and I want a little something to hold me over, they're great. And they were on sale from $13.49 for $3 off. So that was a good price. Then these are so good. So the No Sugar Company Keto Bonds. You've got your dark chocolate fudge brownie and your dark chocolate peanut butter. Now I am a peanut butter fanatic. 100% love peanut butter, love Reese's Cups. These are good, but holy crap, these the fudge brownie is amazing. I wish it was a whole box of these ones, but anyways, that is okay. We'll deal just fine with half. Well, you get 20 of this and 10 of this. They're one net carb each. They're individually packaged and they're both the size of a Reese's cup, really like in comparison. And you're, yeah, 70 calories, one net carb. Um, and not bad ingredients. Like you've got erythritol um, and stevia and inulin so those are your sweeteners in there um and they're just super yummy i'm gonna try not to eat this box really fast but we'll see what happens i probably should have bought two then grabbed greek yogurt so i've recently been running through yogurt like eating a ton of it i love it and i missed it a lot when i went to keto um so i was missing yogurt a lot and I said, you know what, I'm at a point now where I'm more in a maintenance and fitness side of this. And I'm doing it for my actual body because my body really likes keto. So I started putting yogurt back in my diet. I probably eat it for maybe five days a week. I really love it. And yogurt is high in net carbs, at least here in Nova Scotia. We don't really have a low carb option. They all have a little bit of added sugar, but they're not, or sorry, they all have a little bit of natural sugars which I'm okay with, it's not an added sugar, and I'm eating something that's still healthy and really good for my body, especially when I am working out. It's a great way to fuel your body with a protein source and good probiotics. So with this one, I did grab the organic Greek yogurt for three fourths of a cup, your 100 calories, six carbs, six sugar, and 17 grams of protein. And you do have some potassium, calcium, um, and a little bit of sodium in there. But when you look at the ingredients, there's no added sugar. So I'm good with that. Hopefully this one's good. I've been eating the Liberté Greek 0% and this one is 0% um, fat as well. So I can add my own fats back in with like nut butters. So good with those. Then we grab cauliflower, just a nice big bag of it. Make cauliflower, like loaded cauliflower this week probably. I might toss them in like some chili powder and stuff too and fry them up. That'll probably be really good. And our fridge tonight was like raided. There was nothing for fruit because I was going to see what the berries looked like. I normally find you get better quality berries at Costco than everywhere else. Um, but our fridge, like just the outside of the fridge had stuff that there was nothing in the middle, which I thought was strange. Um, so there's a little bit of salads and greens, carrots. I think there was mushrooms, broccoli and cauliflower. Like there was nothing. So that was weird. Um, next thing we grabbed was the Sunrise Farm chicken burgers. So these are, I think, the closest to eating a real homemade chicken burger that you'll have. They look like real ground chicken when you open them. They taste like it. They're not dry, like they're the best. This is $14.99 for this box. You're gonna get 16 burgers. So that's an amazing deal. I like these in the air fryer. I like them on the barbecue. I like them um, cooked in a pan. I like them cooked in the oven. They don't get dried out. They're so good. And I realized I haven't had them for a while and I'm kind of missing them. Um, but 
when you look at the macros, you're 200 calories, nine grams of fat, and one net carb, which is great. And also those ingredients for a packaged chicken burger. Chicken breast, boneless chicken breast, water, citric, fi citrus, fiber, salt, flavor, spices. It doesn't really get cleaner than that unless you made them at home, but chances are you're gonna put some salt in them, you're gonna put some flavorings, you're gonna put some spice. So the only thing different is water and citrus fibers. Citrus fiber, and I'm guessing that's probably just what's holding it together. But super good option for keto. And if you know me, had to grab some tea. Earl Grey is my favorite tea, although I've became a huge coffee fanatic. Earl Grey tea is my absolute love. I could drink this day and I love it. I've been drinking it, I don't know, for like 10 years now. And I just always buy the big box at Costco. It's a really good price when you're buying the small boxes at the grocery store. You're between like five and nine dollars. It was 11 dollars for 144. So if you like Earl Grey tea, this is your spot to grab it. I grabbed this pack, so it's just the Kirkland Signature chicken, ham, and turkey. But hopefully these are good. Now, they weren't the cleanest of the clean. I won't lie. So they do have cane sugar in them. In the Black Forest ham, yeah, just the ham has, has cane sugar, which I mean, is very standard for ham to be sweetened. And for your ham, you're looking at 50 calories for four slices, but zero net carbs. So obviously the sugar is really minimal in there. Then, turkey is zero net carbs as well as ham so that's kind of what they look like we love chicken wings so just grabbed a nice big pack of wings um we're actually gonna have some tonight for dinner we're just gonna divvy this out so we've bought a lot of different chicken wings over the last couple years and we just like buying plain wings cooking them in the air fryer or we do have a turkey deep fryer we use when we camp um so our turkey deep fryer we use when we camp is obviously makes them really good, but we love just chucking them in the air fryer and putting salt and pepper on them when they're done. Really simple, clean. We're not putting any breadings on them or any sort of seasoning or anything like that. And I think we're gonna have that and I'm gonna make some keto nachos tonight for dinner. We did have hot dogs while we were at Costco. I just got the hot dog and they'll, they'll give you a hot dog, no problem without a bun. You just ask for it. Um, yeah, so after our Costco shop, I had a hot dog with no bun. There's five net carbs, which I don't think is bad, um, and 370 calories. I didn't check what the fat content was, but I'm sure it's up there. Um, but to be able to eat out and grab something yummy, and that is something I haven't actually eaten since I've gone on keto, so it was a nice little treat to have something. And it, I mean, it fit in my day, so why wouldn't I? Um, and then just grabbed a Diet Pepsi with it, which I don't normally do, but I said, whatever, it's their only Diet Pop. I'll grab a pop and have some today and have a little treat. So then bacon, can't go wrong with Costco bacon. I mean, we put bacon on pretty much everything we eat. Like I, I actually think we put bacon on everything we eat. So always grab this bag. They also have a black bag, grab either one. They're so yummy. And I mean, this bag will last us a while. It's, it's about half full. So we just keep those in the fridge, add them to eggs, add them to nachos. I use them for my loaded cauliflower. Just throw a handful over top of my cauliflower with some cheese and some green onion. You're good to go. Grabbed a nice big pack of sparkling ice. So this pack was actually, well, as you can see, it's new. Um, they were on sale today, $17.99 for 50 off. So not a bad price you're getting 24 when i buy them at the grocery store i only buy three or four of them but you pay a dollar a bottle so it works out to be a good deal but this one has cherry limeade coconut pineapple and i think that pineapple one is going to be so good so i'll put these in a cup with a little bit of ice and some whipping cream put like half of one of them in so good it's like a little it's like a little milkshake almost so those are awesome um and then there's lemon lime and pink grapefruit. So you've got cherry limeade, coconut pineapple, pink grapefruit, and cherry lime. So me and Justin, before we bought them, of course, we made sure that one of us would drink either flavor. Um, I said I probably wouldn't be a giant fan of the grapefruit, but I mean, I'll try it. And I'm sure we'll get through this pack. 
I would say like a month, maybe two even. We don't drink them every day, but when we have a whole case of them from Costco, we drink them a little bit more frequently. Household items. I did grab this pack of masks. So they're just plain black. Um, one of the girls had brought some of them to work for us to try because they're shorter. They don't like go right up to your ear, which I thought was really nice. I wore one the other day. Um, and I mean, I, it's our reality. So it's nice to have some disposables. We have a ton of reusable masks and I mean, we wear them every day when we go to work, when we go to the store, like wherever we go, we wear masks here in Nova Scotia. So then we grabbed these. Um, so it is an outdoor, indoor LED strip light that changes colors um, and it can attach to anything. So we actually bought these for under our an awning in our camper. So we're gonna attach them, touch them right underneath our awning and you're able to actually unplug and plug back in the cord, which is perfect. Cause I mean, we can't roll our awning up when we're driving our camper down the road and have a cord flailing. So we'll be able to just attach like the strip light, you can see it there, unplug the cord itself, pack the cord away, have this go right up in with the awning, no big deal. Next camp, come out, plug it back in, good to go. Um, and it is nice, you can control it right from your phone, but you can also, if you've had your Alexa while you're camping, you can gear it up to that. But I mean, we don't have Wi-Fi when we camp, generally, or not good enough Wi-Fi that I would bring our Alexa. She works great in our kitchen, but not at a campground with like shared Wi-Fi. So um, if we were seasonal and had our own Wi-Fi, probably do that, but we go site to site as of right now. Might try seasonal in a couple years, but for now we're gonna stay um, weekend to weekend, just different campsites and get to tour around, which is what we really like. Getting to go around with camp different campgrounds in Nova Scotia, um, and when, if our bubble reopens, New Brunswick, um, PEI, and Cape Breton, we did a little bit of everywhere last year, so that was really nice. So hopefully we'll be able to do that again. Um, we do have a family camp in New Brunswick too that we take our camper to, so. I don't know if even if we would go seasonal because we have that option. And then just grab some garbage bags. Um, we did buy a different pack of clear garbage bags last time we were at Costco, and they were really, like, they ended up just ripping every time we emptied our garbage can. So we're gonna try the Kirkland brand this time. Hopefully they're better. Hopefully they're a bit thicker. Um, and we did grab like cat litter and softener salt and dog food, but you guys don't care to see that, I don't think. So I won't bother. Um, but yeah, that's everything we grabbed at Costco today. Nice big haul. Um, Justin did get like some crackers and some sweets, but I won't, I won't taunt everyone with those cause I don't want to see them either. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let me know your favorite keto things to pick up at Costco. I did see some new crackers today that I was intrigued by. Um, they were from Inno Foods, I think it is, uh, I-N-N-A Foods. Um, I've had stuff from them in the past, but I haven't had those crackers. They looked pretty good. I think they were four net carbs a bag, uh, like a serving. Um, and then I seen all the egg wraps, their Carpini egg thins. Um, but I see the Carpini cauliflower ones too, which I haven't tried, but I've got a couple different wraps right now. So I'll use those before I buy anything else. I have a really hard time not just saying I should just buy it because I'm at Costco and it's here. So I'm trying to be better about that and think more about what I'm picking up, especially when I'm picking up something in such a large quantity. Like there's those little cheeses that are pre-cut in like a four pack and I really want them, but like I don't need to eat that much cheese but everyone like takes them and just bakes them in the oven. They look really good. I wanted that. Basically, I wanted all the cheese. There was a three pack of different Havarti's that were all sliced, they look good. But I said to Justin, I was like, if I'm the only one who's eating Havarti, that's just silly. Um, he likes regular like marble and cheddar and Gouda, but I don't think sliced Havarti is really his jam. So I wouldn't obviously buy a three pack of Havarti cheese. I'll buy a single bit for me or buy a little block to eat with like some salamis and stuff but um yeah that's what I picked up so yeah let me know down below what you buy at Costco for keto I'm curious if, I love getting like my nut butters there so good um getting my almond flour and like any sweetener any type of baking thing at Costco is actually a really good value 
especially when you look at the bag of Costco almond flour, like it's Kirkland brand, um, which is the only, yeah, I think it's the only almond flour we have here. And it's like $15 for this giant bag. And when I go to the grocery store for it, we have like this, there's Bob Mills. And it's this little tiny bag and you're paying the same price. So, I mean, you might as well buy the Costco one and save your money. Well, I guess it's the same money, but larger quantities. Um, trying to think what else is really good at Costco that I love buying there. I normally buy a whole chicken when I go to Costco too, and I didn't do that today because I bought one while I was at work. I went to, well, I work in a superstore mall. So I just left work, went to the superstore, grabbed a whole chicken, brought it back to work and cut a piece off of it for my lunch. Um, otherwise I would have bought a chicken. Um, buy cheese there, like a whole block of cheese there often too. But I didn't do that today because we have a little bit here that we need to eat up. Um, yeah, sorry for this hair too. It's been a long week. Um, and it's, my hair's just kind of been up, I think almost all week. Yeah, it's been up all week, maybe not Monday. Um, but that is everything I have for you guys today. Um, if you want to see how I'm eating everything, come on over to Instagram. I'll leave a link here and you guys can check it out. I post what I eat pretty faithfully almost every meal, almost every day. Um, and then I share my recipes whenever I can. I try to make little TikToks of them too, so I'll put that down there. Um, if I can make a little recipe into like a minute video, I will and post that up because I love those videos. They always grab my attention. And obviously I want to the, create the content that I like watching. Um, also, obviously these food videos are something I like. I like seeing what people are buying at the store because especially when you're not just going in and buying whatever you want it's nice to know oh i should look for blank like like maybe if you're not someone who's done keto for a long time or you haven't been to costco in a while or maybe you haven't been to costco since you've been doing keto like it's nice to know oh well stephanie grabbed those bars and she really likes them i should go check them out rather than you see them at costco and you're like oh should i try them because i'll be honest paying $20 or $15 for a box of something you don't like sucks. Um, and that is something nice about Costco too. Technically you can take them back, but um, like it's nice knowing, I'm gonna look for those because I know Steph said they're good. That is probably my favorite part of watching people's videos like this. Also, like I didn't know what to buy for yogurt for the longest time because every time I scanned a yogurt, it said keto friendly, but it was really high net carbs. I'm like, there has to be something better. Well, I haven't found it here in Nova Scotia, but I know like in the US, there's lots of different options. Anyways, um, I'm done rambling for now, I guess. I'm gonna put my groceries away and we'll see you later. Bye guys, thanks for watching.